Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting a guy who's got whips that come out of his wrists. And it's not Whiplash. And there's, there's another character that has whips on him. There's a lot of Marvel characters that got, like, whips running out of their arms. Omega Red. So we're going to be painting Omega Red from Marvel Crisis Protocol by Atomic Mass Games. Really cool miniature. Um, I remember first seeing this guy in the 90s cartoon show and immediately just being like, oh, he's so awesome. The design was so cool. And then uh, seeing the comic book cover where he's fighting Wolverine. Um, it's like one of the best comic book covers ever. Anyway, I really like this character. Let's paint him. So like with all my Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures, I spray them white first. And we're going to move on to Amaranth Red. This is going all over his uh, bodysuit, so any parts that are red, I used uh, the reference photos from AMG for this actual uh, paint scheme. And this AK Interactive paint, uh, this red is really good. It spreads really nice. It needs to be thinned down a little bit, but not too much. It's, it's a really nice paint. Try it out if you get the chance. And we're going to throw it on his headband and also his, uh, his hair tie. So there's, basically he's mostly just red. So with a name like Omega Red, he should probably primarily be red. It makes sense. And we're gonna take some volcanic yellow and this is going all over his hair. And we're going to take some Warlord Purple. This is going to go all over the uh, straps holding on his uh, uh, bracers, his wrist bracers, and also his uh, shin guards. Can't believe I remember that they were called shin guards. I never played organized sports. And we're going to take some Express Medium and some Templar White, and this is going all over his face and arms. So any of that exposed skin that he has. So we're gonna take some Caraburg Crimson here, and here's uh, something. I did not film uh, the Caraburg Crimson part of putting it all over the red, but um, if you need to look back, you can look at my Pyro video or, or my Colossus video. Uh, I just didn't film it. I, I apologize. I'm not that upset. The Caraburg Crimson's also gonna go all over the Warlord Purple. Didn't want to forget that part. And we're going to take some Naz Drag Yellow, and this is going to go all over that wonderful uh, yellow hair of his. So we're going to move back to that Amaranth Red, and we're going to start highlighting up all of the red that we did. So we're just doing the raised spots, we're staying away from where that shade settled, and we're just going through, taking our time. Now we're going to take some orange fire, we're going to mix that into our amaranth red, and we are going to go through and just do another highlight on there. And we want to keep some of that amaranth red there. Again, we're staying away from the recesses and we're just slowly pulling that in. So doing a little bit less and less each time. So now we're going back to our Warlord Purple and we're just going to do the highlight up of those uh, straps that he has. And we're going to add a touch of white in there and do another highlight. 
And we're gonna take some dead white here and this is just gonna be a highlight up on all of that skin that we did. And we're gonna take our volcanic yellow, that's right, and we're gonna go do some highlighting up on his hair. So same thing, hair's a little tricky because it's it's not all the same, it, it, it's a weird texture to paint. So just uh, kinda get the most raised spots. Then we're gonna just switch to some yellow here and we're gonna go through and do another highlight up on that hair. Then we're gonna take some cobalt metal and this is going all over the spots that we have now left white. So the shoulder pads, the belt, um, the straps and his shin guards, all of this is gonna be that cobalt metal. And I also did this on his uh, cables, which I left on the sprue because it was just gonna be easier than trying to paint around. Now we're gonna take some runic gray and we're gonna use this to shade all that metal we just did. And also the ones that are still on the sprue. Again, it was just gonna be easier to paint him without those things wrapped around him. So with this, we kinda wanna direct it uh, to the middle of the armor pieces and away from the edges. And we're gonna take that yellow again and we're just gonna do his big, giant, bushy eyebrows. And we're gonna hop back to that orange fire and we're just gonna carefully dot in his eyes. And we're gonna take some skeleton horde contrast here and we're gonna put that on his teeth. I'm gonna take that cobalt metal again here and we're just gonna do this tiny little spot on his uh, bandana and also there's a small spot on his chest here that we're gonna put that on. And we gotta remember to clip off those tentacles and glue those on. I will put a link in the description below to show you how I do my Marvel Crisis Protocol bases and with that, this guy's done. And I am very happy with how he turned out. I really, I, I mean, this guy sat on my desk for the better part of six months because I just really didn't know how I wanted to go about doing him. But I am really, really happy with how he turned out. It's a super cool miniature. It's an awesome character. And yeah, I'm glad I waited. Growing up, this guy was one of my favorite comic book villains of all time. Um, I just thought he was so cool. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite comic book villain was. Or is. I, either one. Either one will do. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Then we're gonna take some Nasdrag yellow, and this is gonna go all over that wonderful hair of his. Now, you can't knock. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today, we're gonna jump back on some Marvel stuff, and we're gonna paint Omega Red from Marvel Crisis Protocol by Atomic Mass Games. That all sounded weird, and I have to burp.